What is up, YouTube? So we are on Ashran's call again, and I was going to do another quest video. I think we're going to do the Tusker King quest. I should be able to solo it because I'm high enough level. Right now I'm just getting buffed, but uh, then we'll go and start the quest. So I was curious, does anybody actually play in first person mode? I was running around a bit, killing stuff, and you really can't see anything. I'm just kind of curious if anybody actually plays like this. I feel like I said, I should be able to solo this quest. I'm high enough level. I'm not far from max level. I am using my sword character. I wanted to use my bow character, but he's even higher. And I think it'll just be too easy. So let's make it a little bit challenging. Why not? Alright, so let's head over here. Woo! First person is very interesting. Yeah, I'm not... Whoa, whoa, laggy. Laggy. Why's the server lagging? What the heck? <sighs> Alright, here we are. Let's actually get out of this frickin' windowed mode. I don't like that. Get our weapon on here. For speed, of course. Always go for speed. So, every freaking time, I gotta reset this side by side vitals. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. Alright, so I decided to mix it up a little bit. Uh, this is gonna be a video of things I wish I knew when I started the emulator. So one of them is fix busy. It usually happens between switching weapons that it'll show the combat bar, but you're in peace mode, your character. So essentially you're broken. So you're not able to go back in combat and you're not able to get out of combat. So what you can do is type, if I'd be in combat here, type fix busy, it puts you to peace mode. So that's one thing uh, to actually know. All right, so this is the other thing that's really important to know. I actually only realized this a couple of days ago. If you type slash config list, it gives you this big long list here. Essentially what this is, is all of these. It's all these character options. So what happens is like on this character for example i will click this button for side by side vitals and it stays like that until i log off when i log back in it reverts it doesn't save so what you can do is look in this list that you have and side by side vitals is one of them if I can find it, I'm just trying to find out how it's typed out here. There's a lot of text to go through. <laughs> I think it's just side-by-side -side vitals, but I actually want to find it. Give me a minute. Just hold on. Don't go anywhere. Yes, so you type slash config and type it exactly how it says. So it's right here. I highlighted it. You got to type it exactly like that. Capital letters, uh, capitalization matters. So config side by side vitals. 
and when I hit enter, you'll see what happens. I always get this error. Every single time, just ignore it. Just hit OK. It reverted. It unchecked this button for me, and now it's to this. And it actually says character options side by side vitals is now off. So we'll type it again, and that'll turn it back on. And again, we're going to get that same error. I don't know why that error comes up every single time, but just ignore it. It means nothing. Right there. So one thing I didn't know about, let's just go to my inventory, for example. Uh, you can see the tooltip. So there's one here, slash config show tool tip. show two tool tips so let's do that okay for the error boom okay I'm mistaken so right now we can see tool tips so if I hover over my shield right here brass covenant shield you can see it or if we hover over something else, lug, okay. If you type slash config show tool tips, get the error, click OK. Tool tips don't show up anymore. So now it's perfectly safe for me to put my mouse over my character because the tool tip won't show up. So that's a nice little feature. But we'll turn it back on. I don't really care. So, All right. So why is these not in here? All right. So you have that. And then the other one is When people ask in chat, how do I save my Windows, my user interface, they always say to type out slash save auto UI. But however, that doesn't do anything when you log back in. It doesn't actually save. The command is there. It does exist. So the easiest thing to do is go to this Verindy window tool. Click on edit and then click capture and it'll open up your chat box then. See right here my chat box is now open and type what you want to save it as. We'll type a uh, crimson mage and now you see right here it says crimson mage. So you go back to the main section and then for crimson mage just click go and it'll move all the windows to where you have them uh, just to show you so go back to the beginning open up window windy window tool let's delete this crimson mage one we'll move this window somewhere else if my mouse will let me it's acting kind of weird <laughs> it gets dirty all right so this is what we're going to do we're going to capture it like this. So type claps. Window opens. Type chosen one. Bam. So right here, let's go back to my main one. It'll move my window back. Now we'll open up chosen one. And it puts it over there. And the reason it left this window open, because that's how I saved it. So what you want to do, if you don't want it, that window to be open every time you click go, let's delete it. Go to main. Apply this one. Okay. Let's go back to edit. Let's move a random window here. Let's move this. Okay. Click capture, close this window, and then type in your name chosen crimson right there all right let's open it up again go back to main let's activate my main one 
Now let's activate my one I just created. There you go. That little window closed. So if you save it with that window open, it's going to keep that window open. All right. So that's something that I wish I knew from the beginning. And what you can do to make it easier for yourself, get mag tools and under tools, character on, on login complete, add a command slash Verindo window tool slash VWT apply and we'll pick chosen crimson add so now what it's going to do is when you log in after your login is complete mag tools is gonna activate that command and it'll set all your windows to where they need to be if you don't do that under mag tools every time you log in you have to go back to the Verindo window tool and just hit go it gets annoying after a while. At first it was okay, but just adding that under mag tools just autom you know, automates it so you don't got to do it. Mag tools, go to tools, tab, then go to the character tab, on login complete. Uh, the command is slash VWT apply whatever name you named it. And just add it. Uh, you can probably do it on login too, but I'd rather my login complete and then do all my windows so some people like to under this periodic command they like to add a slash fix busy and like say for five minutes so whatever number you put here is the minutes so some people like to add this uh why they macro or why they use v tank is every five minutes it does a fix busy that way they don't get stuck in combat however I discovered for me it actually seems to make things worse I did do it for a little bit but it just makes things worse if you don't have mag tools I highly suggest that you get it all right so let's apply my main one and the other thing is if you get stuck to where you can't loot sometimes type in slash fix busy and then jumping right away will fix that sometimes not always and then what else we got here I had heard uh, some people say like for me if I have my graphics maxed out which I currently uh, do everything is on max for detail far very high very high uh, extreme everything's maxed out but if I life still in the recall slash LS or I just go to Hultberg, I always crash. As soon as I do slash LS and I start portaling, I always crash every single time. Uh, some people had said it's because of the landscape draw distance, and that is not true. I've actually left it on very low, with everything else being high, and it still crashes. But I do know if I lower everything to the minimum, I don't crash going to Holtberg, but with everything on high, I crash going to Holtberg. I'm not quite sure. I'm sure it's one of these options, and someday I'll actually go through and change one thing at a time until I stop crashing, but I'm not really worried about it right now. So what we'll do is one important command that you should know about, slash config allow give and again make sure when you type config list you're typing in exactly how they have it with the capital letters and the lowercase letters so if I just type uh, slash config allow give so I put the a in allow uppercase and I put the G in give lowercase it doesn't work it said actually unrecognized setting yes unrecognized setting so we'll just change this lowercase g to a uppercase g 
and it works. Got the error. That's good. And now it's off. So you can actually go to your character commands here and you'll see what they are. So if I type it again, it's currently letting other players give me items. So the config commands save everything. Just hitting these buttons does not work. You've got to use the config commands. I should say for some characters. Like my main character that I have, all his commands, when I picked them, saved. I had no problems. Log it in, they stayed like that. But every other character after that, they don't save. Or some things save, some things don't. So the foolproof way of doing it is just do what I did. Take... 30 minutes out of your day or an hour, select config list, and just start setting every single thing how you want it. So basically, and make sure, so basically, everything that you see is exactly how I want it to be. If you want to save, use the config commands. I assume since they couldn't figure out how to actually make these buttons work, their way around it was adding those config commands. So, all right, so let's, yeah, let's get buffed up here. And yes, I can buff myself. Don't make fun of me using the buff bot. I can cast sevens, what, oh, whatever. I was just being lazy. <laughs> so we'll get buffed up here. And I was actually going to go do the quest, but I think I'm going to make the quest a separate video because this video is already long. Oh, I do want to say as a side note, I was on uh, the other day. Well, basically on every day, but I was on and I happened to see the admins were at Withered. And that was kind of cool you don't typically see admins out in the world uh so it was nice of them to come visit and say hi and you know this that was cool so thanks to the admins for stopping out at withered would have been nice if you guys actually joined our fellowship and helped us kill some things so we can level a little bit faster but whatever just nice to see admins, you know, out and about interacting with players, or at least just being seen. <laughs> they didn't really do too much uh, interacting, because I actually ran up to one of them. And, yeah, there wasn't much interaction. But whatever, it's nice to see you guys out at Withered. So anyway, with that, my hair is brushed. <laughs> Hope John's happy. I always make sure it's brushed now on every video. It's... So anyway, with that, take care.